Welcome back to Firebird Part Something. Let me show you guys what's been going on. These have not been fun. I really want to reuse these uh, aluminum rims that my dad had on the car. I've tried all kinds of things. Uh, in the last video, I think I put a, a picture in there of how nasty these things were. Um, I tried all sorts of cleaners, very abrasive cleaners you weren't even supposed to use on aluminum. Uh, all kinds of stuff to try to get these in somewhat respectable shape. Uh, finally, I resorted to buying a Harbor Freight Sandblaster. Put all that together. Uh, those those rear wheels being uh, 15 by 10s barely fit in there and there's not a whole lot of room to work but I was able to make it happen. Um, so uh, basically sandpaper was the only thing that was making any 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 uh, mark on these as far as getting that corrosion off or at least appeared to be uh, so that's why I got the sandblaster because I wasn't going to sit here and sand all this by hand <coughs> um, so right here you can see this is this this has been through the sandblaster um, this is straight out blew it off hadn't done anything it has been sitting here sitting here a couple of weeks uh, this is one of the front wheels uh, this one I also sandblasted and I as a test uh, went and I did like a 320 grit 600 get grit uh, 1200 2000 all the way up to well, I think 2000s where I stopped and uh, so here's you can st I wasn't ha I'm not happy with the there's a bug in there the corrosion and stuff uh, if I get it in the right light you can see the corrosion and stuff is still showing up which you can't see very much in the uh, just blasted version but once I sanded it back down all that stuff just kind of resurfaced so not too happy about that uh, but I did get all four wheels done there's the those two um, there's one of the the rear wheels and uh, if you watched my last video or the video that I'm gonna put up before this you may have put together what I plan on doing so got this double oven off a of marketplace my wife talked them down to 50 bucks and she even went and got it for me so yeah we're going to be powder coating the wheels and they're gonna just be what they're gonna be I mean that's that's kind of my final Hey, let's uh let's try to make these look decent and however they turn out is how they're gonna turn out. So in addition to that, I mean that that's what's been taking so long. Uh that's what's been taking so long with the making any progress and I guess it's been about a month since I put out a video. Uh I've just been amongst doing normal life stuff. Uh, when I come down here and, and work on this, that's all I've been doing is, is wheels. And it's it's not very motivating to do all that work and spend all those hours just for to sand it back out. And it looked like garbage in my opinion. Um, so uh, that's really it as far as the update. Uh, as soon as I get the rims done, get some tires, I'll be able to set the car down. Uh, finish painting that little bit subframe connectors like I showed in the last video and all that stuff um, 
So instead of leaving you guys hanging just like that, let me share with you some of the plans that I alluded to a couple of videos ago. So check out some of this. So uh, I bought this off of someone on Discord. He gave me a really good deal on it. He's used it for less than a year. But this was one of my planned purchases all along for the 383. <clears throat> so I've got a complete poly sniper. It's got everything. Uh, it's, it's in really good shape. It's clean. I have no... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that purchase. He also went ahead and already installed a, a progressive linkage on it. But also included the, the original one. But it's got... It's got everything. So, there you go. I'll be putting a Holly Sniper on the 383. Um, as well, I got... If I can get this box open with one hand. From US Shift, I got their Quick 4 transmission controller and I know you guys are thinking well why would you need a transmission controller on a turbo 400 or turbo 350 or whatever came in these cars that's because I'm not going to put one of those in here it does come with a resistor too um, we'll get into all this stuff later I'm just kind of showing you guys uh, just kind of showing you guys some of the plans that I've been hiding. So apart from that, if we go over here, that is a Hughes Performance torque converter. I don't know how the leaf got in here. Hughes Performance torque converter that is going to mate up with this Hughes Performance built for all 60E. So, really excited about this. I uh, really want the overdrive. I know I could have gone 700R4, <clears throat> but I decided to go with a, a 4L60 that, that fits uh, the kind of power I'm making and all that stuff, which is not a lot. Um, there's another 4L60 over there. Turbo 350, and then back there behind the, I don't know if you can see it, there's a Turbo 400 hiding over there too. Um, what else, as far as plans, uh, my dad had stripped an 89 Camaro. I sold the, sold the T5 transmission for floor pan money uh, four or five years ago. If you, if you watched the videos back then. Um, but Part of that car uh, had the 89 Camaro. He, he had stripped transmission, engine, uh, basically everything in the front of the car all the way back to the transmission. And one of the things that he got was all the <laughs> alternator, uh, front accessories, and all that stuff off of the, uh, that 89 Camaro. It was a 305, but externally, they are identical to a 350. And since the 383 that I'm putting in is a board and stroke 350, these brackets and stuff off of this other engine are going to work just perfect. So I'm really excited that I will be able to run a serpentine setup on the new... The new engine. Also, I have to let me set this down. Also, I have that set of uh, hooker super comp headers, long tube headers. I'm hoping I can find someone to ceramic coat them. 
because uh, really all that rust is just surface rust. You can see right here where I've I've got the model number, and it, it's it's still got black paint. So I think most of that's just surface rust, and I think somebody who does ceramic coating uh, will be able to clean those up, and uh, I'll be able to reuse those. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. <clears throat> if you look in the last video I did about powder coating, at the very end, uh, I show you the, the powder I got from Prismatic Powders. So we're going to be powder coating the aluminum to look like aluminum. I'm not, not going to change the colors. I like the, the look of the aluminum. Uh, but I got to get some practice in. First thing I'll do is <coughs> powder coat, clean up and powder coat those brackets because I, I figure instead of wasting powder coat, uh, why not powder coat something I'm going to use? And if it doesn't look right or it's not the best, I don't really care because it's going in the engine bay. It's going to be covered up by alternator and power steering and all the other busy stuff going on. So I think it'll be just fine. And then once I'm comfortable with that, we'll move on to the wheels. So next video, uh, I'll probably be powder coating. So stay tuned and we'll catch you next time on Chaos Garage.